Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and you are watching, not round five. You're not watching round five. You're watching the final of the Gold Squadron Classic here, guys. This is Gold Squadron's first ever uh, premier style event that we're putting on, this Gold Con, the Gold first Con. ever. And uh, we're putting it on, and today I'm joined by... John Urandazzo. All right. Just getting an official announcement after this long day. Somebody has been separated from their iPhone. I'm going to go fix the camera because it got canted. All right. Dion will go fix the camera. In the meantime, let's talk about lists. Matthew Carey, if you guys have been watching, you are familiar. Uh, both of these lists are undefeated. Matthew's bringing a two ship list, one of the few two ship lists in the tournament running Boba Fett and Gurry, which he has run to great effect and has been able to take out very effectively all of the competition. Uh, you see those points numbers correctly that he is running a list that's 187 points. And, uh, but even with the, the strong bid, Matthew has come up on top in five rounds so far. How's it going, guys? I am here. I'm just working on some technical stuff uh, so we can have it ready to go. On the flip side of the board, we have oh, pause for the announcement. All right, timer started. All right, everybody, well, welcome to our final. Thank you, everybody who has stayed with us all day watching these games, or if you just joined us, we love you too. We got Ty Strikers and a shuttle versus Boba Fett and Gurry in Empire versus Scum and Villainy, and we're doing giveaways today. Get swag. Okay, check this out. Check this out. I'm going to give away a conversion kit of choice. That's pretty good. Okay, conversion kit of choice if, if and only if, we can get 15 subs this round. Stretch goals. That's right, 15 subs this round. We're doing that. We'll do cards as well. We'll just, I'll just, I will open up the vaults. We'll give away a bunch of cards and all that stuff. But 15 Opening is up the, the goal. old gold squadron vault. That's right. Where and all the swag lives. That's right. Additionally, Additionally, I will give away a second uh, uh, conversion kit included. Now, for, for these, um, these kits, if you want, you can even uh, put in, I know we're not officially pre-ordering first order resistance. Oh, sure. I will pay for your first order resistance. We know it's coming. Here we go. Let's get this party started. Looking for... 15 subs, and I'm also going to do it. Sorry, I forgot to uh, to say the other thing. Um, this also is going to be for any new patrons. Oh. Any new patrons. Check that there out. You go. Even, if you're the one new patron we get today, you're getting a conversion kit. So uh, any new patrons, there you go. A lot that, of stuff in those conversion kits. Correct. You can get... Anything of the first five factions, you get essentially a pre-order. We'll take that. We'll take care of that for you. If you live in some weird country, we'll send you the money for it. <laughs> we can't if we can't ship it to you ourselves. Uh, so streaming with you today, of course, we have Dion. Uh, my name is Johnny, friend of the show, and uh, we are he, we've been here all day since we dialed dials down at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Here we are uh, after dinner time. And we've seen a lot of exciting X-Wing played so far. Yes, including the resistance on the first order. So let's go ahead and break down these lists. Uh, Sam bringing Lieutenant Sai. We did see Lieutenant Sai on the table earlier today. Um, ability of that 
Lambda shuttle is after you perform a coordinate action. If the ship you chose performed an action on your action bar, you may perform that action. So essentially, you're gonna, it's going to be de dishing out focus tokens and getting one back. That's just action efficiency right there. And that's super good. Um, these strikers have bombs as well. They have those uh, seismic charges getting rid of some of those rocks. We know that these strikers like to move around. And uh, if they can get rid of rocks in order to not lose actions, that's uh, even better. And it's, it's interesting there, um, Lieutenant Sai is flying with Admiral Sloan. I believe I saw that on uh, Sam's side of the board. You know, it's pretty surprising that this two-ship list uh, of Matthews has gone up against several, you know, four to five-ship lists and has come out uh, come yeah, out alive. That's right. Matthews flying it great. Uh, so I want to I want to point out Admiral Sloan on the shuttle. Yes. Uh, that's an upgrade we haven't seen yet today. Uh, Admiral Sloan reads after another friendly ship at range zero to three defends, if it is destroyed the attacker gets two stress tokens, period. While a friendly ship at range zero to three performs an attack against a stressed ship, it may reroll one attack die. So really stress is going to be uh, very harmful uh, for Matthew's list because we'll have those uh, rerolls coming from uh, all of the, essentially all the attacks within range of the shuttle. Right, so Sam kind of doing a uh, kind of like a spearhead set here with his maneuvers. Might might see that blue striker come wide. All right, very wide set arcs. Okay, seems to think that fit in. Keeping everything tight. All right, so focus coordinated there. Gets a focus back. Yeah, Jedi2210 is asking, was that a legal barrel roll? It was very close. Um, yeah, we'll obviously, they have the better angle than we do. Yep, we'll keep an eye on it. So Boba Fett coming here uh, in from the flank on the shuttle. All right, so this is how we've seen Matthew open nearly every game here. Yep. Where Boba Fett really charges out and you know kind of gets in the thick of things pretty quickly yeah i mean he he likes to yeah both times like you said he's kind of come up the edge of the board and just brought it around and let the tools that both of these ships have just really shine Yes, thank you, Illusion J. No one has cheated on stream <laughs> that we are aware of. There have been some missed triggers, yep. but that's not cheating. That's just missed opportunities. Yep. So I think this is a, it's been a clean event. So I'm going to barrel roll there. And I do want to remind you that because this is the final of a pod event, it is 75 minutes. Yeah. 
Yeah, Star Vipers are good. They used to be called, jokingly, the Auto Thrusters expansion I pack. I know. Isn't that hilarious? How, how far have she come? And now Star Vipers are a legit. They're a fun ship. They're just, they're just really fun to fly. I love Star Vipers. A lot of the Gold Squadron members love Star Vipers. Here we see the opening shot. That's going to be three hits into the shuttle there. Uh, one thing I do want to note about these Strikers, because it might come up. Um, let's see the half shots back. I think they do at range three. That's, yep, super out of arc. Okay, just double checking there. Um, for the Gold Squadron Classic, we have ruled that if adaptive ailerons goes over a rock, you do lose your action uh, for, the, for the perform action step. Uh, this was a decision that we came, we were talking to a big group of people. That was, I know that's gonna cause some contention in the chat. I'm waiting for it to pop up. But I want you guys just to be clear of the expectation. Uh, they already know uh, that uh, that's the case. Before coming in here, we, we got the question uh, fielded uh, to us. I don't know, that, that makes sense to me. You it's just, it's the way that they broke down the way obstacles work, is if you execute not the maneuver, but a maneuver, and yeah. adaptive ailerons is a maneuver. So, I, I, that makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean, that was a decision we came to, and it wasn't just me, like, it's not the Dion. So. Yeah, these, uh, the, 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 these two squads, you know, Tron is pointing out, these two squads are kind of flying past each other almost. Yep. Um, of course, we'll, you know, we'll see what, how this turn goes, and those strikers can you know, turn on a dime in a lot of situations. But it is kind of funny to see them sort of, uh, uh, you know, not, quite a, not quite a joust, more like a, a whirlpool yes. around this large middle asteroid. And here's the thing, right? Um, we have to remember and we have to respect the seismic charges. Two of those strikers have seismic charges which uh, essentially float to the nearest rock, make it explode, and everybody at range zero to one takes a damage. What we're not sure of is exactly which strikers have those. Uh, looks like from his numbering system, it's strikers number one and two. Uh, which we don't, we can't see right now because the numbers are in the back. But we'll, I'm sure we'll figure it out. And yes, Tron 9 and 9, we definitely will find out once they drop the bomb. Agreed. That's true. He did keep two strikers really close to these rocks. Maybe that was his plan all along to drop seismics from them. Yep. Here's the shuttle. Moving. Moving first. Oh, uh, this is dropping the dropping the first seismic charge. Okay, so kind of just lifting that shuttle up. There it is. So that's going to uh, hit that potato in the top left corner. There's ailerons number one. And probably just coming around the rock. There it is. Yes, their maneuvers really nicely around that rock. Cleaning up some tokens. Here's the next striker. Okay, they rounds forward. Two 
too hard. Now, I like how Sam has these arcs overlapped. I know that he's not going to get a shot most likely this turn uh, with that back arc, but he kind of has this, this fan going, right? They have the section that bisects in the middle, but he's got a nice spread there just trying to get, trying to get shots of, uh, yeah, with his ships. Yeah, he's just got more ships, more firepower. That's the way to go. Yeah, and you see it again here, spreading out arcs, setting the trap for Boba. Okay, there's ailerons. And flying five ships with this much maneuverability in a six round tournament sounds rough to me. Yeah, it's a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking. I mean, you gotta be real good with this list. Reveals the shuttle maneuver, one, one four. straight. I'm kind of surprised he didn't, oh, oh. Fine, put it wherever you want, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of surprised he didn't do a stop there to block the, uh, to block Boba. I, th I guess he wanted an action. Yep. Reinforce the back there. And Boba's like, no, I don't, I don't want to do anything with that. He's one banking away. Yeah, so what's the move here? Do you boost to kind of get out of range of those back two? Yeah, trade, trade range three shots with one of these guys. Um, you won't have your rerolls, but you'll have you know most of you you'll have hit, a focus you'll at least. You have a marauder reroll. That's true. Yeah, but we've we've seen Matthew uh, for the last this three games in a row now just make uh, really solid plays. Yeah. Just really just calling his opponent. Um, there's the boost. Okay, boosting left. Fine. Yeah, create just I think just creating some distance here from those top two strikers. He he's kind of flying into a corner a little bit. He's got to think about his next turn, but I think this is a great move for this turn. And he's got the boost, like he can get around as needed. Uh, Guri Guri is in in the shooting gallery right now, though. Yeah, what are the options here? She can, obviously that barrel roll. That puts her pretty close. And going to the right gets her uh, maybe out of one arc. Out of one arc for sure. She's in, she might. The question is, is it, does this striker have her in arc currently? Because then that would be four. Can boost behind the rock. That's gonna get you out of yeah. one. That's gonna get you out of one arc, and an extra die might actually get you a uh, range one. But I think if if that doesn't fit, you hit that rock. You've failed your action. Can barrel roll left out this way. Yeah, if that fits, but that's. Scary. Uh, close to that obstacle. All right. So, what was his decision? He's deciding to boost forward. Boost forward. Okay. Uh, yeah. Gets out of one arc and gets close to the shuttle. We'll pick up a focus probably. Yep. And he is uh, linking to the calculate there. He'll take the focus and be able to get a range one shot into Lieutenant Sai. He 
He might be able to get half points to the shuttle this turn. Here's that shot, two hits. Reinforced takes at least one. Oh yeah, the bomb needs to go off. That doesn't matter yet. All right, there's Boba Fett. Takes one. All right, so I see damage cards out there on the shuttle. All right, we do have Gurry stressed, so Admiral Sloan is active. Takes one. Next shot coming range three. Slow and reroll. Spends focus for two. Two evades. Got it. Slow and reroll for three. That's strong. Oh, but <laughs> not when you roll four. That's stronger. <laughs> Boom. All right, the bomb. And there it is. All right, so we got two damage into the hull of the shuttle and one damage uh, taking the shield off of Gurry. Yep. Oh, actually, no. The whole damage. Uh, it was they traded paint with the striker. Oh. Yeah. He said to to the striker. I think that's just his damage deck. I think that's the whole deck there in the corner. Oh, I thought they were dealt to the shuttle. No, he just he dealt one card over here. Okay. I'll buy it. Yep. Whoops. We'll just take one off uh, Gurry. Oh. You want to take a second to show off this championship plaque? Yeah, good idea, good idea. Here we go. Johnny's holding the championship plaque there. Gold Squadron Classic, our inaugural event. And then also, the winner will also be getting a Gold Squadron Classic branded messenger bag. Ooh. Yeah, so good prizes here. Ah. I love the art on both of these. It's a, a Battle of Scarif theme. Is yep, that it, right? Yes. The, we commissioned this from Mark Moriarty. This is uh, was our Gold Squadron Y-Wing art and uh, now is our Dutch Vander art. Let's get back to the game. So we talked about our giveaways that we're doing. Uh, if we get, what do we need? We need seven more subs, I believe it is now, to unlock our conversion kit giveaway. Get a conversion kit of your choice. Seven more. And then also we're giving us away a second conversion kit to a patron who sub who becomes a patron today. And we'll announce that on our next podcast episode next Tuesday. Right, 
here's a striker. And coming around, they're just so maneuverable. Oops, a little nudge on Gurry there. Yeah, so nudge means it probably doesn't fit. No, it w I think he would have fit. He just was a little sloppy putting it down. Oh, yeah, it was the uh, those long wings yep. that kind of caused the, the nudge. I love the look of the striker. So intense. They are cool. The Reapers are cool as well. Bump party. <laughs> Call me Babs. Dion, instead of reading me a kid story, can you read me the rule book before bed? We'll explain that whole read me a bedtime story in a minute. Uh, in our next uh, next little break here. So this striker, eight rounds forward, one hard. Again, just trying to get those arcs on target. Yeah, so Boba Fett went slow here. He could still get shots on some of these strikers. Yeah, being stressed and, and faced the wrong way is going to hurt. Reveals the uh, the dial there. Looking for a template. So it reveals the two bank. The ailerons obviously do, don't uh, don't fit. Judge being brought in to take a look there. We are being boxed in. I by, know. That's by what I was looking. Tables. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be really safe. <laughs> A lot of players have gone home. They're starting to, uh, you know, put away chairs and tables, and we are on a, a little island here. Yeah. All right. So one forward from Boba Fett. Just trying to keep something in arc that clears the stress that's out there. Guri is in a bad spot. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, and not a lot of health. She'll get a focus, right? Mm-hmm. But one focus and needs some natties. Yeesh. That's a lot of dice. Has a range one shot on that front striker. Let's see what happens. I uh, keep the focus, right? Hit crit. Hit crit. All right. So hit crit goes through. Assuming it seems to be striker number four. And the crit is a mystery crit. We'll take a look in the planning phase. Could be relevant if it's something like weapons failure or, or a blinded pilot or something like that. All right, Boba Fett gets his shots. Hmm? No. No. Stunned pilot. Thank you. That That matters. That matters quite a bit. And uh, 
Sam will spend a focus on defense here to prevent the damage from Boba. All right, here come the strikers. Range one in the Gurry. I see two hits and uh, two eyeballs. Hit crit, two eyeballs. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's that's rough. So he's got one focus. He could save it to try to turn more eyeballs at a later time. I think you got to do it now. You just spend it. You yeah, still take you, a crit, right? Yeah, we take the crit. Damage engine. Honestly, that doesn't hurt Guri too much. I mean, you don't want your returns to be hard, uh, to be difficult, but. Okay, this one's not so bad. One hit, got it. One evade. Next, range two, nothing. Hey. Gurry lives. Gurry. She, she ends up with a damage engine. That just gives her a lot more, a um, lot less possibilities. Here's hit crit. And Man, it's we'll gonna be another, another crit. crit. Damage sensor array, that hurts Gurry. Did they change damage sensor array? Could you look that up real quick, Johnny? Sure can. I wonder if that's one of those that only says you can do focus actions. Well, I am no longer connected to the internet, so that'll be slow on my part. Okay, I'll try to take care of it here. You can only do focus actions and actions on damage cards. Uh, focus, okay, so um, that hurts because there, then there's no link link to calculate. It just gives you that just a little bit extra. Sure. That also deactivates advanced sensors, right? Oh yeah, only for focuses. Yeah, you can, you can do it for focus, but that's about it. So that does hurt. And all of Gurry's turns are red, and there's no way to fix that. Yeah, Gurry doesn't have focus action, so Gurry has no actions. Yeah, that uh, essentially. Well, your action is going to be to try to flip that. Uh, yes. Flip that right away. So I do want to remind you guys. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Kensai03, for becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber. We are now, I believe, six su Twitch Prime subscriptions or paid subscriptions away from uh, unlocking a conversion kit of your choice, including first order resistance when those come around, essentially a pre-order. Get that paid for you. For you. Uh, paid for by Gold Squadron Podcast. Uh, six. Awesome. Six left. Yeah, so... Guri will still get her range one ability regardless. Yep. But no other actions available to her except to flip that crit to repair it. So do you disengage here? See, the problem is, like, if Guri tries to get away to the left, those strikers are going to be right on her tail. Yeah, Guri doesn't have very many places to go. Um, oh, we got another one. Mithra, Mithra, we're down to five, five more. Also, we're doing another conversion kit giveaway on Patreon. Any, literally, if only one person becomes a patron today, they're gonna get a conversion kit. If it's two, you got a 50-50 chance. If three, all right, you wanna increase your chances to get that conversion kit. I like those odds. Help, help us out, Gold Squadron Podcast. Maybe you've been thinking about it. Maybe today's your day. Again, we've been traveling coast to coast. This event's in our backyard, but not, not all the other ones we do. So thank you, everybody, who's taking the time to support us. Patreon, you guys uh, are the largest group of supporters, and you guys really make the biggest differences. I will say we are, we are lucky. We are one of the um, more densely packed parts of the country when yep. it comes to X-Wing events. 
we have Gen Con, which is drivable, and we have the FFG headquarters, which is drivable. Uh, so both of those events have been really easy to access for mm -hmm. us here in the Chicago area. Mm -hmm. I think we're very, very lucky. All right, so first striker just kind of getting uh, in what looks to be a blocking position. For Gurry, if she tries to uh, get out to the left. Thank you to DBIS401, uh, sorry, DBliss and Machinator for becoming Twitch Prime subscribers. For that, we add Mithra, thank you. Kensai03, thanks for the sub. All right, uh, Aileron's bump. I imagine these tie strikers kind of looking like butterflies. Like, you know how butterflies have that kind of like almost clumsy way of, of flying around. <laughs> like they, they catch a lot of air every yep. every maneuver. I kind of picture these strikers a little bit like that. Yeah. Like they could, uh, <laughs> you know, they could do a big flap and kind of turn on a dime. And then I'm, I'm sure it's unlike any other ship. Uh, re do remember, uh, let's go ahead. I forgot to click that on. Uh, Guri does have damage sensor. Oh, no, I have it on there. Dam damage sensor ray, so... Essentially, no advanced sensors, guys. Like, she has to, I guess you can advance. Does advanced sensor say on your action bar now? It's always said on your action bar, yeah? Yeah. So, no uh, no advanced sensors try to flip your crit. And does, does that put Guri at two hull also? Uh, yes. Yeah, so half points have been given up. Gurry, where'd he go? Yeah, essentially Sam is just locking Gurry in a, a cage here. You ever heard that saying? You're, uh, I'm not locked in this cage with you. You're locked in this cage with me. <laughs> <laughs> So right. Sam here is doing the definition of swarming. I mean, he has his, sh his dials all over the place. Yeah, arcs everywhere. Boba Fett's out of the picture. And Lieutenant Sai getting out of the way. That means that uh, Guri is going to have to uh, get out of range zero of both of these strikers. He's coordinating that blue striker, which gives the Lieutenant Sia focus. And a three bank. That's not bad. He's going to uh, trade some paint with the shuttle. Lands at range one. Action is going to be to try to flip damage sensor array. She does. Okay. Success. I forget that that one's not a roll anymore. Yeah, there are no rolls in 2.0 for repairing damage cards. It's all just, you just do it. Or, or you can't, or you don't. Yeah. So Boba's figuring out, like, well, what the heck do I do? Yeah, so, you know, that one bank that he did earlier to avoid getting swarmed, that was a really good move. The problem was, you know, so Boba decided to do this, this one bank to avoid all these arcs that were coming in. But when Gurry kind of flew into this, it, it like they, the maneuvers didn't match, sure. right? Sure. It's kind of what happened there. Okay, two hits into the shuttle, rolls the evade, takes the first damage card on the shuttle. That's a range one shot from the shuttle out the back. Hit, hit, crit. Got to spend. Got to do it. Crit. Takes another crit. 
These crits are so punishing in second edition. Direct, Direct hit. hit. Oh. Bye bye. Takes two. Gurry is down. Yikes. Yeah, it's I mean that that's the risk when you fly a two ship list. When you when you lose one ship, you've lost fifty percent of your list. And Sam has it hasn't even given up half. I'm sorry, no, he gave up half on one striker. Excuse me. Yeah, Boba Fett has an uphill battle here. Uh, thirty, uh, just under thirty-seven minutes. I don't know if he's if he's got it in him. Although I've doubted Boba Fett before and been proven wrong. A couple of people asking, uh, will the Boba Fett alt art that we made come back to the store? Um, yes, it will be. I want to make sure that everybody who needs one gets one from Patreon before we put them for sale. We only have a few left, and uh, we'll be doing that probably in the next week or so. Boba Fett hasn't taken much damage, meaning none. <laughs> yeah. So he could still clean up, though. He has a lot of ability, um, and essentially the if Matthew plays it smart, he's still got 36 minutes. His Boba Fett, he's, he's given up 84 points, right? He's given up 84 points. As long as he can, he can kill more than 84 and not lose anymore, it's still, it's still a game. Ooh. Let's see. Better. Sam's got a lot to consider here with all the movement options for these tie strikers. And a lot of dials to set just in general. I'm sorry for the radio silence here. Got people asking me questions about things while we uh or we're sitting here, responsible for a couple of things. That's what you get for being important. I know. <laughs> so I love it. I absolutely love love this game, love this community. Love our viewers. Hello. Love our patrons. Love our subscribers. So the chat a few times has been asking about Thai swarms. They were did not have that many Thai swarms here today. And we had less than I thought we would. I, I only saw a couple as I was walking around. I think people are probably a little skittish of flying it because it's hard. It's hard. If you haven't practiced with it, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot. Yeah, there's a couple of funky maneuvers, you uh, like sets of maneuvers that you can do to uh, really, whoa. Wow. I got to, wow. Holy crap. Dion is checking his Patreon subscriptions or uh, Patreon pledges, I guess, at the moment. Yeah, I just, I just want to say thank you, guys. <laughs> Those of you who take the time to become patrons, it's, it really means a lot. I'm going give, to give some shout outs here uh, in our next planning phase. I just wanted to open the tab. Uh, makes a big difference, guys. All righty, so uh, Stryker's coming in to engage Boba Fett. so bad for Matthew if if he's not getting all his strikers down the map at the same time Boba could try to sort of pick off one at a time All right. 
So, you know, one thing I want to I talk about Sam's approach here. With these strikers, uh, this striker's kind of hung out to dry. Like Boba Fett, if he can engage here, you get rid of this striker right away, you just start picking him off, this can really uh, swing towards Matthew's way. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's the game that Matthew's going to try to play here. And here's Matthew, hard two with Boba Fett. They're going to trade some pain at range one. Does a boost and is going to be uh, arc dodging there, so not taking a shot. We'll see who he's going to be uh, shooting. He takes the calculate. No stress, no thank you. And has a range three shot on the shuttle. Looks like he's committed to taking that off the board. Boba Fett reroll, spends a calculate. He did not shoot Han Solo that turn. It's gonna be taking one. All right, not huge damage, but something. Mm -hmm. Coming down to the half an hour mark. I mean, Matthew's fighting the clock here as well, right? Oh, yeah. Now, each of these uh, Sentinels, Planetary Sentinels, 34 points or 37 points, depending on which ones he's taken out. Um, I did visually miss it here for a second, but there is a ship right there, so don't, uh, don't snooze on that one. Just doesn't have a model on the base. And now we're at uh, at Dials. Yeah, I want to just do some shout outs here to our new patrons. A bunch of people signed up today, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, the people who, who give their hard earned money to help us out and, and travel all over these places to bring you guys content. Um, thank you to, uh, to Larry, to Matthew Legat, to Arvin Coro, to John. Uh, Mikolo and Steven Downs. Thank you guys so much. And uh, as one of my other patrons uh, did point out, uh, one of our goals on Patreon is to reach, uh, let me bring up that page. We're trying to reach, oh, oh, come on, load, load, yeah, loading, loading. Did it go? It's, the, it's under the tiers, right? We're trying to read 400 patrons. If we get 400 patrons, um, we're going to take Gold Squadron Podcast International. That's amazing. Yeah, we're going to – I don't know where we're going to go. I haven't even – I haven't decided that, but that's just the goal. It's like we fit, hit 400, it's happening. We're doing it. Um, well, we, you know we got viewers all over the world. I'm sure they'd love to see you in many places, many different countries. Yeah. People want me to go to Australia. I could, sure. I mean, I can't promise that it's Australia. We'll probably make, like, if we hit the goal, we'll do a big thing. And if Australia wins, I'll go to Australia. Okay, so like, let me ask you this. Yeah. Does does Canada and Mexico count? Or are you thinking mm, other continents? I'm thinking other continents. I, th I think that's yeah, fair. Yeah, I'm thinking other continents. Because like, five hour drive gets you to Canada from here. Yep. <laughs> Somebody says here, as much as I'd like to see you in the UK, Dion, go, go Oz. <laughs> uh, so we, I think we see a seismic coming out. Seismic charge coming out here in the system phase. Yeah, I think that makes sense because the, the move I like for Boba Fett to get away from those two strikers on top, I like the one turn left. Okay. I, I don't know if that's what Matthew did, but I think that 
gets you, it sets you up in a little bit more of a protected position. And one bomb drop deserves another. That's right. <laughs> you got bombs. No, 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 no. I have bombs. All right, here's that uh, invisible striker moving in. One he's forward, just, he's one just cloaked. turn. Just cloaked, yeah. yeah. So he's going to take a damage from the seismic. We're waiting for Sam to make a decision on his action. He can choose the barrel roll left or right to affect his approach this next coming turn. He could also just YOLO and stay right there, get a focus if he thinks Boba is going to be turning to the left. He does choose a barrel roll. That that striker is most definitely eating a proton bomb. Oh no, sorry, that was ailerons. It's the hard two. Yeah. So might he's still going to be eating? Yeah, it. It looks if he like, doesn't. Looks like range one. If he doesn't made. barrel roll. Although, did he clip that? Is that an asteroid or debris? That's debris. Looks like it got clipped. Should be taking a stress and rolling there. Yeah, here's the die. Just a hit, stress. So no repositioning, so uh, maybe eating a proton bomb. All right, this most likely is a hard turn here to cover that, uh, cover this section here. There it is. We got two subs left to unlock the conversion kit giveaway. Squadron M. All right. And also probably getting a hard two here as well. All right, Boba, how will you respond? There's a big shooting gallery right here. I'm sure Boba wants nothing to do with that. You know what, You if, you, if he made that one turn, uh, that actually would be quite good. Just, you know, trade one damage for being shot by all these ships. Yeah, one turn. Good trade. Focus, he could boost. It's a two turn. Two turns, gonna Still make it. Fits. Okay. Oh my I, good. I didn't think a two turn would fit. Obviously, I, I don't have uh, quite the eyes that these players do to so two turn that's not bad that means he avoids all but one uh, arc it's gonna boost anyway yep which gets him out of maybe one more I don't know if did he get out of this one yeah sure yeah the way you drew it why not <laughs> sure yeah the arc ends right there uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's gonna be close so that's great. That's a great move. All right, proton bomb goes off, and there's a crit. Uh, looks like something pilot on uh, striker number two is what he has labeled there. So we're following his. Uh, so Matthew's staying in it. Uses the Han ability. It's going to be shooting there. So range two, yeah, spend that eyeball. Hit, hit, crit. One evade. I think that's gonna kill that striker. Yeah, he's gone. Wow. He took a damage from the seismic. Look so at that. That, uh, that took him out, took him down. Um, that's pretty good. Trading one shield for a ship is quite good. 
Sam just taking a look at his crit cards. That is open information once a ship dies. Okay, 22 minutes. Um, stressed Boba Fett. Yep. So, Boba Fett take a little while to turn around here. Yeah, he's, he's, only, he's got one, two, and three straight, and the one banks that are blue. I mean, 21 minutes left. You do have to take that into consideration as well, but you have the boost, right? You have the boost. Yep. Are you a... Huh? Loose stabilizer. Cool. Thank you. Great. So I mean, with a with a one bank. Yeah, you don't want to go into the corner. You have the boost. You're gonna probably have to utilize it here. Yeah, just one bank boost. Yeah. Or. Well, maybe you just one forward this turn. You one forward. Try to get some shots. Try to get some shots, and that will leave you open to do something a little more aggressive next turn. Okay. Scum dial is down. Looks like we're good there. I do want to remind you guys, oh, thank you to Jim Roberts and Daniel Driscoll for becoming patrons. You guys are amazing. We are 13 people away from be from going to abroad. Going to? Going to abroad. abroad. Going, going out there and taking my gear to different countries. It's so amazing that people are willing to do this. I'm, I'm excited. And we're two Twitch Prime, now one Twitch Prime away from give, doing another conversion kit giveaway. Mr. Bonder, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> two forward, he's gonna be stressed. No damage on the roll. Mr. Bonder wants you to go to Australia. He does? Yeah, so I think you're... I mean, that seems to be the the, the favorite in the chat there. It's probably just because they're the only ones up. <laughs> 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 but, sure. We did have a very Europe-heavy uh, chat in the what was morning for us. Late afternoon, evening for them. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Sai making the turn in. Back to dials. Yeah, I just noticed that our our YouTube chat has not been uh, formulating in our in our program here. Because according to this, you see it's a zero there. Huh. Sorry, YouTube people. I just thought nobody was watching on YouTube. I, mean, I prefer you to watch on Twitch. I'll be completely honest. But if you have to watch on YouTube, because 
That's why it's there. It's, it's like it's the backup, right? Uh, but yeah, we'll. Haven't been meaning to ignore you guys. Hofberger. Our bits leader, number three. Third place leader. What do you want to do on mobile, Cali Hyde? How can I help you? All right, so, you know, Boba Fett disengaged here. Kind of by necessity, a little bit, had to clear stress. Yep. <laughs> Matt Man, 2093. Darth Revan, 1979. We did it. Conversion kit giveaway. That's right. Who would have thought? We did it. You guys make me so proud. Honestly, I'm, I'm super humbled, all jokes aside. Like, it, it's pretty awesome. Johnny, thanks for helping me t this weekend. My pleasure. I, I, uh, I have fun with it. I could talk about X-Wing all day. That's right. I don't know that I could play X-Wing all day. I would think my brain would melt <laughs> through my ears. <laughs> but I could talk about X-Wing all day. Apricot. Other parts of the country say apricot. Really? Yeah. They do. That's that's yes, that's the thing. Oh. Am I wrong for saying apricot? Not in this region. Dion make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Are there d make it rain <laughs> conversion <laughs> kits? <laughs> Toss up some cards. All right, so it looks like these strikers are converging on Boba Fett in the corner. I'm curious to see if uh, if Matthew's going to uh, decide to use any of those turnaround maneuvers, like a talent roll or something like that. All right, a little bumpage there. Two. Yeah, I mean, probably should have just marked it, right? Like. <sighs> <laughs> Slam dunk 74. Yeah, probably should have. I mean, he had the marker out there, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, you're at the top table. It's the championship. Yeah, you need, you got to play clean. You got to play clean. You're on camera. <laughs> like, obviously, okay, these players have had a long day. Yeah. So in their defense, right, it's been uh, 10 hours of X-Wing. Yep. So, okay, I, like, I, I get it. I'm not as sharp as I was this mm. morning. A couple beers in. That only, sh that only helps that to sharpen me more. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it takes two seconds to mark a ship and put the template down. All right, so we did get the talent roll here. Yeah, so I think that makes sense because Bob is not really in danger where he is right now, but it'll allow him to re-engage somewhat quickly. He can... Uh, All right, so he has a shot here. On to, looks like striker number three. Looks like we got hit, crit. And uh, able to spend that evade for no damage. Not surprising. Checking for the attack back. No attack back because it's out of range in arc. Oh, looks like uh, another ruler gets put down and it's good. Hit crit. Hit crit. 
And has no modifiers there, so that's another shield down on okay. Boba Fett. All right, so plinking away at Boba. All right, we're, uh, we should check the damage numbers on these strikers, we're being told. Right, so we got three. So uh, number one is here. Number one is clean, right? One is clean. Two is taking one damage. Three is taking one damage. And four is dead. Yeah, we got it. The shuttle is down two. The red one on the right. Well, I'll just go run over there and look. Yep. Oh, he didn't suffer the damage from doing a not straight maneuver. Wait. Hey, Andras, if you can send me a Twitch clip of what we missed, we can do something about it. He had a loose stabilizer. Oh, okay, well. Loose stabilizer. I don't know. I, don't, I, I remember having the loose stabilizer, but I didn't pay close enough attention to what happened after that. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a game state issue. We missed it. We're pretty far along. <coughs> we'll leave it at, as it is. Then, yeah. I do want to remind you this is a charity event, and uh, everybody working here is a volunteer today. So we, our head judge is, is working the entire room. It's pretty much just uh, just him. All right, what did Boba Fett do? Go fast? Let's see. Not that probably, fast. Probably three straight gets rid of the stress, though. Oh, yes. So now. He's, he's got, oof. He's got very limited options. Mm. Yeah, um, he's got to shoot something, so he has to boost somewhere. He boosts to his right, no, his left power right. Okay, so he's, he's taking aim at the uh, shuttle or striker near the bottom of our screen. Alrighty, so we got that uh, that calculate is that a calculate token? Yeah, the calculate token. All right, Boba Fett has a crit on the board and an eyeball. It's measuring for his ability. He's got it. Got it. Gets a reroll. Two Ooh. crits. Ooh, I'd be I I would be tempted to spend that to calculate. Uh, <laughs> you see him hang his head there. 
You know, he decided not to stress himself with Han. He's doing yeah, it. Yeah, wow. Hit, crit, crit. Gets the evade Gets on the, the shuttle. Evade. Double crits, though. Hole breach and weapons failure. That could matter. That one less red die coming in on to Boba Fett. And everything's face up after this. Shuttle shoots back. One. Evaded. Strikers. Did the shuttle only roll two dice? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Striker. Hit crit. Both at eyeballs. Rerolls one. Burn evade. That's, that ability is so good. It's so good. Only loses one shield there. Still hasn't given up half. And uh, is, is that it? Dials, yeah. Yep. Matthew's set. Matthew wants to go. He, he, only's got, he, he, knows, he, know, he knows his win condition. He's got to kill a ship. And the shuttle uh, has half of that left. Uh, Striker honestly gets him more... Uh, no, no, never mind. Not true. Factually false. Yeah, so, le okay. I was thinking, if like, this, small base versus large if this base. Is the if this is the last turn, yep. what does Matthew need to do to overcome this point deficit? So, Lieutenant Psy, two hole. He's got to figure out how to get a shot on the shuttle and not get half points. Like, that's want to confirm something before I, I say it wrong. So in order to, to take half points on Boba Fett, you have to do six damage to him, right? Because he's got 11 total with okay. the shield upgrade. Okay. So that means if he loses two shields and one hull, that's half points. So you have to avoid taking three. Okay. While dishing out two. Like that's that's how is it gonna come out? We don't know. But we know that the strikers are extremely maneuverable. Um, yeah. you know Sam most likely is gonna try to bring these strikers in and try to block or at least even just kind of one turn and, and try to cover uh, a few different uh, do few different spots, try to get some overlapping arcs and uh, and see if he could just take out take out Boba Fett. Where is where is Matthew gonna go with Boba Fett? Is my question because I like with those ailerons, Sam has so many options. Yeah, I feel like Sam. It, it's not going to be hard for Sam to get every single ship with arcs on Boba Fett, and that's a scary position. I believe Boba Fett used both of his proton bombs already this game. One for sure. Let's see. Look at those. We can see the charges. Uh, no, he's got one left. He's got one left in the tank. Okay. That's not bad. And uh, what do you know? It's like they could hear us. Here <laughs> it is. Drops that proton. Let's get rid of both those charges. Hey, Johnny. I'm only 10 patrons away from going international. That is huge. Oh, my God. That is huge. A lot of people have subbed today, as we've seen. I know. Or uh, have a uh, pledge today, as we've seen. All right, there's the sloop. So it looks like Sam is anticipating Boba Fett turning to the right and using that back arc. Uh, could could be a good blocking position here. We'll see. Here's the thing, that too hard to the right, I mean to the left from Boba Fett, 
looks really good right now because you're only going to end up getting shot by one striker most likely, maybe two. And you won't get shot by the shuttle. Well, you need to kill the shuttle anyway. So... DeRoche, no, we're, I'm talking about overseas, I guess overseas is, is what I'm talking about. Overseas, and to answer Tron 999's question, do I have a passport? I actually submitted my passport application about a week ago um, because I want to make sure to be prepared. <laughs> All right, four straights from Boba Fett. Uh, does he have the shuttle in arc? Yes, he does. He's going to have that range one. He's going to have some re-rolls there. He can initiative kill the shuttle, avoid taking that shot. He's only going to take one here from that red uh, striker right there. You see Matthew, he, he's debating uh, what he wants to do. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, think you, I think you stay there. Stay there and you just... You stay there. Yeah, focus or... Yeah, focus, right? Yeah. Or evade. He, he has he has the breed gambit. Yeah, he boosts. He boosts. He's worried about that striker. He's I, worried about the the close striker. The bomb goes off. It does. That is gonna hit. No, no, did it not hit? I thought the nub. They're saying no. Okay. And this will uh, officially be the last turn. All right, you go, you go there. He's got focus. He's got Marauder. Three dice. Marauder. Hit crit. You have to. He did. He did. Oh my god! You had to because he's reinforced. He's only going to take one. Oh, was it a direct hit? Oh, we oh. got him! Oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry. Plot armor. <laughs> Plot armor right there. He needed to. Oh my goodness! All right, here it goes. Range three. Take your time with this turn. The time was just called. Take, take your time. Measure it out. Oh no! He's got to avoid two, right? Oh! He, he did it! <laughs> last turn! Wow! Oh my goodness, last turn, that's it! That's it! That's the game! Matthew Carey, that's it! Right? What we are they doing? We didn't miss any. We didn't miss any he got shields it. or anything? I don't think, he, I don't think that he heard the time. We, I just saw Matthew jump. Congratulations to Matthew Carey for winning the Gold Squadron Classic, inaugural Gold Squadron Classic. Two ship scum bill. This is awesome. That was a great ending to this game. Wow. I mean, right On down the to that's the second, wire. That's the second game in a row. Yeah. It went down to the last turn. Holy crap. Wow, that was a great finish, guys. We Holy got a, cow. Oh, all right, we have a conversion kit to give away. We're going to do that in a minute. But I want to get Matthew his, uh, his trophy and his prizes and, and stuff like that. Don't leave us. We're going to move the camera around. That way you can see the people and the stuff, okay? We'll be right back. We're going to go to the table view. You'll see the camera move. We'll be back. J Johnny, chat him up. Yeah, so uh, just, to, just to recap, a heck of a game. Those strikers moving around. Uh, the maneuverability, just the durability of Boba Fett. Gurry goes down early. Like, Gurry went down early. And Boba Fett just survived. Unbelievable. Good play. Dion has handed off the prizes to Matthew. He's walking over to the table. What a game.
So as you can see, we are cleaning up. Uh, Dion, I think, is still grabbing the players, grabbing, uh, talking to Matthew. They are putting their ships and things away. There were 64 players here at this tournament. Played six rounds. Here's the booth view. So I show you, this is Matthew Carey, your Gold Squadron Classic champion. Hey. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. How you feeling? Dude, I'm, I'm elated. I'm, I'm kind of like, how in the heck did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> so coming into this, you know, we were talking about like, we think, you know, Swarm's going to be the big thing, two ship list. I don't know if it's going to make it. And you came in here, you said, here are my two ships. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was it's crazy. And like, you know, like you said, swarms, they're what I fear. Yeah. Because like you saw, you know, the the all those tie strikers, Gurry couldn't couldn't get out of there. Yeah. It was uh it was pretty crazy. But yeah, no, no, uh Boba Gurry is they're both just incredibly fun ships to fly. Yeah. So it, it came down to the wire. You got that direct hit. You know, we were we were saying like, um, because he had the reinforce on the shuttle, I'm like he has to spend this focus, doesn't he? Yeah. And, and the crit was a direct hit. It was like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> plot, yeah. A plot, little bit of plot armor there, yeah. right? <laughs> I will actually tell you that that was a mistake. I thought he only needed one damage. Oh, okay. So there you go. That, we got more information that, that, that's there. That's why I didn't spend it. I thought he just needed one. I was like, okay, that's good enough. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's fantastic. Well, uh, where are you from? How long have you been playing? Uh, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, I'm with the uh, Arch Alliance that plays down there, and I've been playing since last Thanksgiving. Like, uh, and oh man, it's just been a been a, a great ride since then. And now that we're in the second edition, yeah. Oh man, it's just. It feels so good. It's, it's, it's really great. That's fantastic. Yeah, we saw a lot of great games happening, people having fun. Um, I'm excited to see how Second Edition grows and uh, just continues with the, the community growing. I mean, just, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And um, you know, I want to just thank you again for coming out to the Gold Squadron Classic. Coming down from, uh, I guess, wait, up, 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 up excuse yeah. me, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, coming up from St. Louis, that's just, it's amazing to yeah. see, see those community support. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great, and I love that it's for a charity. You know, we're we're doing, you know, giving money to the Boy Scouts of America. I was Boy Scout. That's love it. Thematic, <laughs> totally not planned. I promise. <laughs> All right, man. We'll let you go. Get ready. We're gonna Thanks. present you with some stuff up there right. here in a minute. Congratulations, All Matthew right. Carey, your Gold Squadron Classic champion. Thanks. All right, guys. So we have some giveaways we're gonna do here. Uh, real quick, uh, we're giving away that conversion kit, and we're also going to give away um, a conversion kit to uh, one of to a patron as well. Let's go ahead 
and uh, and do this. All right, I have our our list here. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna count to. Um, actually, this is what I'll do. Hey, Jack. Jack. In front of you. Come here. Stop right there. Tell me when to stop. Just, just tell me when to stop. I'm choosing somebody for a raffle. Tell me when to stop. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, it's doing weird things. Thanks. Boom. Nope. All right, we got our we got our conversion kit winner. We got our conversion kit winner. Yeah, yeah, we do. The winner of the conversion kit is. Oops, your name slid over. Ben Fett. Ben, ben Fett, Fett. Congratulations. Con congratulations. What a great prize. What a great event. Ben Fett conversion. Kit. What a great list of uh, list of viewers. Uh, just a b beautiful group of people. You guys are awesome. Let's go ahead and give away uh, one of these to our new patrons. Let's let's pull that up here. Uh, where is that window? Did I close it? Let's just open it again. No big deal. Oh no, there it is. Patreon. We'll go ahead and refresh that. Loading, loading. There we go. Wow, we had we had even some more people sign up while we were getting this uh, getting this going. You give good swag. I, I like I like giving the swag. It's super fun. Holy crap! It's amazing. You guys are are crazy. Let me, I want to see how many pay, how many people are we left before we go. Yeah, ten. We're at ten. ten. That's, that's awesome. That's amazing. That's incredible. So let's see. Of the people who pledged today, let's make sure we get their names here. Where's our ending line? September 22nd, September 22nd. Show more. That's it. That's it right there. Okay. So let's see. All right. Are you ready? We're going to count. Oh, it just refreshed on me. Ah. The anticipation. Can you feel it? We'll have to reopen this. Show more. Enhance, enhance. Enhance, enhance. Actually, it might be easier if you do it this way. Hold on a second. We're going to open that up. Uh, no. Is that gonna work? Doesn't look. Trying to find a, a a better way. Patreon, the way they list it, sometimes does weird things, and it's like doubling. Ah! Oh my god! Doubling names. We're just drumming up excitement. <laughs> Content. That's not working. All right. Let's just go back to this list. There we go. It, it loaded correctly now. All right. Show more. Show more. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready, right. ready Johnny? Don't click anywhere else. Don't not clicking anywhere else. Here we okay. go. What are we going to Same thing? Uh, count. Uh, count. Uh, yeah, you just tell me. Tell me when. Tell me when. All right. And ready, three, two, one. Now, the winner of our conversion kit is Raymond Fox. Raymond Fox, thank you for becoming a patron. Uh, congratulations. You just won yourself a conversion kit. If you want first order or um, resistance, hit us up. We'll get that going. We're going to go give away... Um, the trophy. That's my job. There we'll, we go. We'll uh, we'll turn the the camera and we'll get that done. Uh, I'll, we'll turn up uh, maybe one of these mics a little bit so that you guys can hear 
uh, what we are saying. Fantastic. Johnny, can you run the booth while I while I get that stuff set up? Why not? All righty. You're the man.